All right then gang, so just a quick overview of where we're up to at the minute. We've created all of our nav bar at the top, which sits inside the app component. We've also just created the dashboard component and nested inside that the project list and the notifications, both with dummy content. So we've done all this bit right here at the minute. Now remember, I said a while back that I wanted to use this project summary and nest that inside the project list component right here. So currently we have our app.js, which is loading up the dashboard when we go to forward slash. So it loads up this component and sitting inside that component is the project list, which is this thing. Now inside project list, we're just listing out different projects, but right here, this is not very efficient. We're just repeating ourselves over and over again, and it's not very modular either. So instead of us doing all this and repeating ourselves, what I'd like to do is instead create a project summary component, which is going to output this kind of template. And then we can nest that project summary inside the project list as many times as we want. And that makes it a lot more modular. So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So first of all, let's go to project summary and create this component. It's going to be a functional component because any data that we receive inside this component will come via props and we don't need states. So let's import react first of all from the react library. Then let's create this function. So const and we'll call this project summary. That's equal to a function and inside we'll just return some JSX. Now that is just going to be this stuff right here. One of these. So let's, cut that and paste it right here. Let's just neaten that up a bit and we'll export this at the bottom, export default project summary. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're kind of externalizing this content into the summary. And this is a summary of a single project. So now what we could do, instead of listing it all out over and over and over inside here, we could import that project summary component up here so let's do that. Import project summary from, and it's going to be dot forward slash because we're in the same directory, then project summary. Okay, so now we've imported it. What we could do is delete all this content except for the surrounding div. We want that to remain. But inside, now what we could do is nest this thing two times, three times, four times, and it's going to output that thing, this template, as many times as we nest it. Does that make sense? And I think this is a lot more modular because if we make a change now to the template, we just have to change it once over here and we have our own component for this summary and then we don't have to worry about this component. So let's output the project summary like so. And what I'll do is just copy this and paste it in a few times. I'll do four of them. We'll save that. And if we view in a browser, we can see four of those on the screen now. So that's pretty good, right? It just makes things easier to manage and makes the project a bit more modular.